Hey guys, it's Blake here with Bentelli Electric Bicycles. I'm here to assist you with the assembly process on the Trio bicycle. So the first thing I've done so far was basically just take it out of the box and removed all the packaging. At this point, I like to go from the back to the front of the bicycle during the assembly process. So the first thing I'm going to do is work on the rear basket and attaching the base to that to the frame. So the first thing I have to do is remove the four hex head bolts that are attached to the frame currently. They're in the slotted hole in the frame. So all we have to do is take those off right now. And then once we attach, put the basket back on, when we reattach those bolts, we need to make sure that these two brackets get attached as well on top of the frame. So basically the frame, the basket, and then you have the bracket, and then you have the bolts going through them all. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do right now. All right, now that we have the base of the basket attached to the frame with those two added brackets that were provided in the hardware box, as well as the four hex head bolts that were attached to the frame washers and the lock nuts. Once those are safely tightened down, the next step is gonna be attaching the lid to that basket. So you wanna make sure that the lip portion is towards the rear of the bicycle. And then as it lays, you'll use the hinge hardware that's also provided in the same hardware box. It's basically going to have a U bracket, so to speak, with a, another hex head bolt. These are going to be attached going over the top of the lid portion, and then the bolt is actually going to be going through a slotted bracket that's a, already attached to the base of the basket. So that's going to be the next step that we do right now. All right, now that we have the rear basket completely attached with the lid, the next thing that I'm going to do is attach the battery. So the only thing you have to do to attach the battery is basically there's a slotted side of the battery. You want to make sure that that slotted side slides down the provided bracket that's already attached on the bicycle. Slide that down. Once it's in place, you then want to take the battery cable and go ahead and plug that battery cable in. Once you have that attached, the next thing you have to do is go ahead and the seat. You may need to adjust the seat for your personal preferences at angles um, as well as the height. So that's something else to keep in mind of if you want to adjust that, you can. So the only thing you have to do to put that in place is slide it in. Sometimes you have to loosen up the bracket, the clamp, I should say, for the frame. Once you get in place, you then just clamp that bracket back in place. And that's it. Now that you have the battery and seat attached, the next step is going to be the water bottle and the pedals. One thing to keep in mind with the pedals is that there's two different types of threads. One pedal is going to have a right side is tightening. The other side of the pedal is actually going to have a left side is tightening. So make sure that when you're putting the pedals on that you're attaching those to the proper side. Otherwise they will not tighten down and you may run into some issues. Once you get the, both of those attached, it brings us to the front wheel. This is where things get a little bit more tricky and this is where we always recommend taking your bicycle into a local repair or bike shop. So that way they can go ahead and do this portion for you and make sure everything's aligned properly. So the next step is going to be the attaching of the wheel. The only thing I'm going to be doing is removing the front axle hardware. As I'm removing, I'm going to make sure that it's staying in line with what is already on there so that way I'm not misplacing any of the hardware. Once you attach that wheel, I'm going to be going over the next step with you. Now that we have the front wheel attached properly with the two brackets on both sides screwed in as well as the disc brake properly aligned in the braking system. The next step is going to be attaching the front handlebars. So the first thing you're going to need is going to be this guy, and then it's going to be placed down the frame, and then you're going to be screwing the top nut, or excuse me, bolt, I should say, uh, down to where it's actually going to lock it in place. Keep in mind, you do not want to go past the max line lower than that line or too high either. So you really want to have that sweet spot right in the middle when you're tightening down. So keep that in mind as well. So that's going to be the next step that I do now. 
Now that we've installed the handlebar stem, the next step is actually going to be the attaching of the handlebars themselves. The only thing you're going to need to do is remove the two hex head bolts that are on the down stem bracket. Once you remove these, you just place the handlebar in the slot, and then you'll be placing this bracket back on and tightening it down. When you tighten it down, just keep in mind that you can adjust the angle of the handlebars to your suiting. So that's going to be the next thing I do now. Now that we have the front handlebar attached, the next step is going to be the front fender. So you're going to be grabbing this. I like going ahead and setting it up as if it was going on the wheel so you can kind of visually see where everything is going to be attaching. So this bracket is going to be attaching with the hex head bolt that's already attached to the frame right here. And then these two ends of the bracket are going to be attaching to each side of the wheel with the hex head bolt, again, that's already provided on the frame. So we'll be taking those bolts out and nuts out, reattaching them with the fender attached to the bicycle. All right, now that we have the front fender attached with the front hex head bolt, as well as the two bolts that are on the side of the front wheel, the next step is going to be the front basket. So the front basket's a little bit trickier than the rear basket. It's a little bit more to it. You do need to grab the bracket and the front basket. I'm gonna grab that real quick. So the front bracket, it's gonna look something like this. The basket's gonna look like this. So this is gonna be attached to the front of the frame the two hex head bolts that are here are going to be going through the bracket, that's the slotted bracket that's on the front basket, as well as the bottom is actually going to be attached with the front headlight in this bracket. So basically this bracket is going to be attached on the bracket such as this. And there's going to be two washers that are on the headlight with the two Phillips head screws, you just need to remove those, and those washers are gonna go through the top of the basket to attach the basket to this bracket, and then it's going to attach to the frame of the bike. Now that you've attached the front basket as well as the front headlight to the bicycle, you are now completed with the assembly of the trio. The only thing we would recommend at this point is doing a once over basically from front to back, checking all the nuts, bolts, proper alignment of the braking system, as well as your chains, make sure everything is properly in place before going ahead and taking a ride on your bike. Appreciate your time.